Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting and in this video we're going to take uh, two of my favorite and really cool things together and make some cool lighting. So first of course we've got Onyx. We're running Onyx. We've got the Dialos Pixel Mapper up and I want to show you some interesting and different things that I'm doing. Some ways that we can use these DMX hoists here from Mod Scenes and we can use them in Dialos. Okay, how stinking cool is that? So the obvious, you know, first way that we can use these things is simply by programming them with regular DMX. And we did a whole video of that on the main Learn Stage Lighting channel. So I'm not gonna go over that, but you do wanna check that out because I cover how to use these hoists well, how to set safety values for them. Um, that's really key uh, to be able to get a really good uh, use out of them so that you, you can use the new offset feature right now, early 2023, it's in beta, should be out later this year, um, in order to create a safety so that you don't smack your hoists against the ground and cross problem, problems. Now, since you've done that, Let's go ahead and look at some things. So I've got a couple special guests here uh, for today's video. Um, the first is the five Mod Scenes DMX Pixel Hoist that we can get for you at LearnStageLightingGear.com. We are your place for that. Um, and, you know, of course, you've got, for example, you know, these pixel tubes, right? We've got them, and sure, we can put pixel map content on them all day long, right? We can choose anything out of Dialos, and it's, it's going to translate just great, okay? Um, but I purposely put them in something very simple because I want to go ahead now and take Dylos and use Dylos for the movement because that's what makes this interesting. Sure, I only have five right here, um, but if I had way more, this would look even better and I want to show you how I did it. Um, first and foremost, though, let's say hi here. One thing I did bring in uh, the other day is uh, a little disco ball. Whoops. Other cue. We've got the disco ball. Also a cool thing to put on a mod scenes hoist, okay? And so why not be discoing uh, while we're doing everything else, right? And of course, like anything, he can go down, he can go up. Life is good. The, uh, the start of the pan till on the mover, the, the little start, ramp, and stop is, is uh, slowing it down a little. But why not have a disco while we're here? Okay. Into Onyx, we have got Dylos. So I went to my 2D plan, and, and my left one here, this guy, is just the regular combined fixtures. So that's add, um, combined fixtures, the main uh, DMX pixel hoists are, are those items, okay? And so those are cool for the pixel ones. If you have the non pixel ones, uh, it would be you would just go and get the fixtures individually. Um, for this side, I grabbed 3.0 through 7.0. So in Onyx, you can go, for example, say you type and you go, let's see, do I have anything in my program that I need? I think I do. I'm not going to clear. But you could type on your keypad literally 3.0, and I'm typing it on the keypad, uh, through 7.0. And as long as it's in slice mode on your fixture center, you'll get just those master fixtures, okay? Then I went ahead and I added those to the 2D plane. So see how the symbol's separate? It's different from what you see uh, the full pixel bar with all the different segments. Um, that's because we don't want to control this same one, right? Because zone one here, uh, fixture eight, is our Dylos zone for the pixel mapped bars themselves or even if you had just the orb or the cube or any of the shapes that are just an RGB single cell um, you could pixel map them with imagery all day long but where it gets interesting where it gets fun is when we talk about the movement and that's why uh, I pulled in just those master fixtures through three through seven there then I went ahead and I built three presets okay so we've got it down. Let's go over to those guys actually. So they're down, they're up, they're in the middle. Again, down, up, in the middle. I could have gone a little lower for my in the middle one. Doesn't matter here, okay? And so if we go ahead, actually I'll just clear that quick and bring it back. I'll just bring back, I just pulled up this red media for some color. 
Um, that's fine. Um, now we can go ahead and really start to do some interesting stuff. So I built some presets in Dialos on this zone here. This is my position zone. And I want to just walk through uh, some clips that I brought in. So you see this clip here. Hopefully it's looking good on camera. You know what? I should probably turn the disco ball off as much as I love it. And what we can see is we get this cool random pattern out of them because it's ultimately a really random piece of media. Now, how did we accomplish this pattern that we're seeing right now? Well, all you have to do in Dialos is set your mapping type uh, to two preset mode, okay, or three preset mode. In this case, I just did two presets because uh, my, my space is pretty short here. And then you go to your presets. In this case, I have these parameters are under beam effects. So I've brought those presets up and down as my two presets that the queue is using. I've selected those here in the box, even though this one's not showing selected, it is, because um, I'm, I'm playing this off a queue, not programmer. And now we get this nice, cool, random pattern. Let's go to the next queue. Okay, there I decided to do a little sweep across it. Looks pretty cool. Then I went ahead, I found another piece of media. You can see color works too because it's going to break it down to black and white. Now one thing you might notice is they do start to bind up a little if they move fast. Um, and so this is the point where I would say, go ahead, grab those fixtures. So 3.0 through 7.0 because they are moving a little fast. And go adjust that speed channel. So that's the cool thing about using them in Dialos. Is let them find their happy place is you can move it as fast or as slow as you want using the speed channel on the motors as, as a separate deal right and so this is one of those first times where you know I don't normally do that and as you see you know you're gonna get mixed results you're gonna have to find good content for it like this piece of content is so busy that when I slow it down you see they're getting really jittery that's not a great piece of content for that so let's go back to a generator help them find their way okay so a generator like this is working great playing across those fixtures now what I want to do as well to take it up another notch here kind of in this demo of how we can use them in Dialos is I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully I get the syntax right nothing like being on the spot oh load David how long have you been using Onyx it takes a minute <laughs> so load fixture 10 uh, at eight that did the opposite of what i wanted um, so we will undo our programmer here always oh, good in remembering syntax and i will this time load fixture eight at ten no oh um, oh it's because it's not in the programmer hold on so what i want to do is load this into my programmer and then i want to go load ten eight at ten i'm entering it slightly wrong we're getting close what i wanted to oh that only loaded the uh, main so now and if i didn't type that backwards it would work load 8.1.1 at 10.1.1 may have had an extra dot whatever it'll get us close enough uh oh i didn't have it loaded in the program anywho i'm just gonna select this and so now what's kind of interesting is if I adjust the speed on that generator, somebody might be watching this being like, this guy has no idea what he's doing. You're not wrong. Let's just make a match real quick. Anywho, we're getting in the ballpark. And so you know making them match somewhat closely and then kind of matching up the speed gives us an interesting look um it definitely does let's go to the next queue last queue so then i did the balls queue as uh the last one here and here i'm just gonna place some colors as well and so what you can see guys from this and i hope this is a really cool demonstration is that um using pixel tubes like this in dialos um 
on a live DMX pixel tube can create some really cool results. Um, ultimately, it's a little bit different than the regular pixel mapping that you can do on the tubes all day long. Uh, definitely using the movement requires a little bit more finesse. You want to look for patterns in Dylos here that are more blocky and simple. Okay, if anything's too complex, they're just going to get jittery and start making noise and, and you're pushing, you know, the mechanical limits of what it can do. Not only that, it doesn't look good and then they start swinging like mad, like <laughs> these ones are now recovering from. But if you keep it to the simple stuff, you know, keep it, it's all going to sum down to black and white anyways in the two preset mode but keeping it to things that are really blocky is ultimately going to work well for you like i was thinking about this blocks one here that works with a slower speed and a bunch of fixtures i bet would look really really cool um, but anything you just want to watch out for and kind of avoid you know anything with like lots and lots of t of complexity to it because while that will look cool on the tubes themselves um, on the movement, it's going to be a little bit too much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I've had a lot of fun playing with these pixel tubes from mod scenes on the past few days. If you need anything Onyx, you need some gear, you need some pixel tubes, any lighting, hey, reach out to us. We're at LearnStageLightingGear.com. We've built a team of super helpful people that want to help you get the right stuff. And uh, you got to buy it somewhere, so why not buy it from the people you trust? We'd love to help you out with anything you've seen in this video or any other video. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you. Thanks.